penny and I'm a visual artist. What I realize is that I do art for very simple reasons. Um, and the way I do art is, is very simple. I have been doing it for like 15 years. Um, had kind of a hard life growing up, you know, uh, spent a lot of time in foster care and, you know, I didn't have a lot but I always had a pencil. And so I didn't realize at the time that the drawings that I was doing were going to actually turn into anything later. So um, my art kind of evolved with my life. And for me, I didn't really get to a point where I wanted to share my art until I got to a point where I was able to talk about my life. And that didn't really happen until I was about 20. Um, and then as I started to do more, people would again ask me, you know, what inspired this piece and what inspired this piece? And I never really knew how to answer that. And then about two weeks ago, I was trying to think about what I was going to say here at the Ross Show when someone said to me, why do you do what you do? And then I realized I actually draw everybody else's emotions. So the pictures that I do are usually something to do with either humanity or people's emotions immediately around me um, or just, just the empathy I feel sometimes for people ends up coming out on paper. Um, I'm kind of a disaster in conversation talking about feelings, but I seem to do it okay when I'm putting it on paper. And then as far as like, you know, where I want my art to go, if I wanted to be rich, then I would have been a doctor. And I could sell out and I could do a thousand canned illustrations day after day and year after year and, and make a decent living. But I think I'm kind of one of those last few artists that really refuses to sell out. And I feel like I missed my calling. I should have been a graffiti artist because I think I would also be more than willing to spend some time in jail in the name of art. Um, but I'm a parent, so that doesn't really work out anymore. So, and then, you know, I just wanted to say about Raw, the call that I got from Raw was the first phone call that I actually listened to the voice one message about 10 times because Karen, the director here, had said, you know, I've never seen anything like what you do before. And then I actually told my husband, this is what it means to be successful as an artist. It has nothing to do with not stressing about the rent and trying to figure out how I'm gonna, you know, pay the bills for the next week. It's when someone notices you. And so I've been noticed. I'm Sharice McKinney and I'm a raw artist.